Hey guys, aloha. Um, welcome to the free trial. My name is Brendan and I'll be helping you set up and navigate around uh, the Aloha dashboard. Now, as soon as you finish your your free trial sign up, this is what you'll see. Uh, you'll essentially see a document that covers everything that we're going to be talking about. So feel free to use either the video or the doc. One quick thing to know before you get into this free trial is that the, the page you're on currently is the admin page. And if you're here, it means that you've already created an account with a phone number, which is great. But you will also need another phone number to create an agent account. The free trial is such that you'll require two numbers so that you can test both agent and admin features. So now that that's out of the way, let's continue. So from the admin account, as you can see, the first thing we're being uh, told to do is to invite an agent. So let's go ahead and add an agent now. Let's click on the agents tab. And as you can see, there are no agents here. So let's create an agent, add an agent manually. Let's give them our employee ID, a name, a phone number. And this is the second phone number that I was talking about. So key that in and give them an email to which an invite will be sent. Click save and your agent is created. So what we're looking at right now is the invite that we just sent to the agent we created. Um, so if we click here, we'll essentially be able to create that agent. So I'm going to copy uh, the link address. Because we're creating two accounts on the same domain, I'm essentially going to open this part of the free trial on another browser or on incognito so that our sessions don't clash. So let's quickly open an incognito window. Let's command shift N or, or control shift N. We enter this um, invite link. And as you can see, it's already preloaded the information that the admin had given this profile. So the name, email, and number is already uh, there. All you need to do is just essentially finish signing up. So let's click next. And the agent has to now enter his ODB. So sign up is complete. All we got to do is now log in. And there you have it. We have successfully uh, created an agent and logged into his dashboard. So at this point, we have created both our admin and agent accounts. So before moving forward, uh, the way to identify uh, agent dashboard is that an agent dashboard will be the, both the one with a place and outgoing uh, call button and an admin account will, will be the one without it. Let's go back to our free trial doc. And what it says here is to invite an agent, which we have done. It's telling us to create an agent account, which we've also done. And number three would be to assign a virtual number. So let's um, head to numbers. And here we see we already have a virtual number assigned to our admin account. And this is something we, we give all our free trial users just to test features around. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign this number to an agent available. And, and this agent that we just created, Brendan, is available. As you can see, we could have also assigned this number to a group or an IVR, but that is not something that is part of the free trial. So let's just go ahead and assign this virtual number to Brendan. And what has happened now is, is that an agent called Brendan, who was added to your company, now has a virtual number through which they can conduct your business, calling, receiving SMSs, receiving OTPs, etc. We have successfully assigned our virtual number to our agent that we created some time ago. So now let's start getting into the meat of the free trial, which is, I think, the things you're going to be the most interested in. Uh, things like uh, how to receive an incoming call, how to place an outgoing call, and how to receive us. Uh, so let's start with how an agent would receive incoming call. So let's go to our agent tabs and, and focus on the virtual number. So you as a business owner would, would essentially give this virtual number either on your contact us page, on your website, uh, in the newspaper, or on, or on social media. So imagine this number being something that customers, potential customers will call you on. So let's just give this number a call and it should ring on the agent's phone number. So let's call the virtual number, which is 77. So let's hit the call button. And as you can see, the call has been placed. And this is the agent's number. 
And as you can see, uh, the phone's ringing, which means we have successfully placed a call. I'm going to end it. As soon as I end the call, if I go to call logs in my agent dashboard, I'll end up seeing a missed call. And if I head to my agent dashboard and hit on call logs, I'll see the same call log. So we've gone over how an agent would receive an incoming call, but let's talk about the outgoing call use case also. So let's head over to the agent dashboard. So we are in the agent dashboard now. Let's click on this green button that I spoke about earlier. Uh, let's click on it and put a number in. Imagine your agent getting a lead from your sales team or your agent being a part of a customer support team and have to call a number back. What they would do is they would click on that green number, this pop-up would open up and they would end up entering the customer's number, choosing an outgoing call number and hitting the call button. So what would happen now is the agent's number would ring first. Agent picks up the phone and it would now ring on the customer's number. Here we go. So we just made an outgoing call, which means a log shows up on the agent's dashboard saying that uh, an outgoing number, an outgoing call was made. And on the admin side, we should also see the same log along with a call record. So now that we've seen that an agent can make an outgoing call, let's send them an SMS. So let's go to numbers and uh, focus on the agent's uh, virtual number and send them an SMS. Now I have sent our agent an SMS from a random phone number. Let's go to our agent's dashboard now and click on the SMS inbox. And as you can see, there is an SMS uh, <laughs> that's conveniently showed up. So yeah, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, uh, this quick trial. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us and we would love to see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,